up everybody? This is crazy. I have not been behind a camera in so long. I don't know how it's been forever since I made a video, but what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the brand new video. I'm right now at this very, very cool natural spot here in Florida, and it is called Blowing Rocks Preserve here in Jupiter Island, Florida. Now you might have heard of Jupiter Island because there's actually some really famous people here like Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, they have some crazy homes here but luckily I don't live too far from here and this is just a very cool spot that they've been preserving and later in the video you're going to see why and it could have been like all high rise apartments around here but it says it's a really really cool spot here on the coastline that I love. You know me, I love like all things water. So I don't know how I did not check out this place sooner, but today we're going to be checking it out together, seeing all the coolest parts of Blowing Rocks Preserve. First off, we have this amazing view here. Sunset's happening right now, but I don't want to give too much away. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. So now, enjoy this really, really cool vlog that I wish I had uploaded a lot sooner because I hated not uploading for this long. And I'm so sorry to all of you guys for that I have not made a video in so long, but hey, I'm back to really cool vlog. Let's go ahead and check out one rock. Check out right here then. It shows conservation, rest conservation, restoration, education. So from 1969, it says, when the land for Blowing Rocks Preserve was donated to the Nature Conservancy in 1969, much of the preserve was infested by the invasive species of plants, a massive 20-year habitat restoration project that included the efforts of, ma of more than 3,000 community volunteers, removed the invasive species, and planted the thriving native vegetation. So yeah, this place has gone through a lot of history, and I cannot believe I've never been here before. Well, that's pretty cool. Just check this out, dude. Alright, so the first trail we have here, the dune trail, it says one third of a mile along the dune, walking at a leisurely pace, it'll, and then 15 minutes you may reach the end. This is pretty cool, you know? Let's check it out. Read this little snippet they got here. Sand dunes exist within a dynamic ecosystem that is constantly changing. Dunes are secured by native plants like sea oats and sea coast elder, making them an important barrier against coastal erosion. For real though, that's something I've known about, like mangroves in the river I know, like the 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 coastline on the um, ocean or the river without mangroves or without these sand dunes will just move around a lot more. That's why sometimes at my beach I've seen huge like tractors and stuff moving sand around. But yeah, these sand, these sand dunes I'm pretty sure do help a lot with that. And it says while they're adapted to harsh beach, beach conditions such as storms, salt spray, and wind, they're easily damaged by foot traffic. So come on guys, let's save the beach what this means. But nah, like look at this blue water. I love this. I never have come to this beach before. But like to me, I like this better than like all the beaches that everyone goes to where I live. It's so calm, so peaceful. Check out the boat out there. That's been me before. We've had our boat and gone literally right by here. It's so cool. So you know, let's keep going with the sand dune trail and then we have to check out the actual beach. Safeguard our sea turtles every year from March through October. Three species of endangered and threatened sea turtles nest in the northern portion of our beach. About 60 days after the extra deposited, sea turtles' hatchlings emerge based toward the sea. Good thing to know. We'll see if we see a turtle today. But you know, let me just stop talking because just take a second and listen. Just take in the, the sound right here. Back there, it 
probably would have just been developed and made a bunch of apartments. Alright, time to get in the water. The water looks so nice, you know. Take the shirt off, man. Which got the best part of it all, the blowing rocks part, the whole phenomenon that gives this place its entire name. Whoa, yo! Look what we just found. Dude, so that's a jellyfish? So you guys, all these rocks coming up, these are the blowing rocks, and I wish it was high tide right now because if it was, you could see it, the waves just barrel on the shore, they barrel on, and they splash, from the from hitting the rocks, they splash so high, like extremely high sometimes, really, really crazy, and unfortunately it's low tide right now, so we can't see it, but still, check this out, like, I love this. Okay, this is why I really wish it was high tide right now. If you come over here, yeah, you can see this. See, I just love like water stuff. Like I low key want to be like a water resources engineer kind of when I'm older. And check this out. So when it's high tide, just imagine the water filling all this rock up. Like up here, check out down here, dude. It's like a whole maze down here. Like look. That is just crazy. Because imagine, imagine when it becomes high tide and all of this fills up with water, everything. And it's just falling back through. And here's the good stuff, man. Here it all started. So first, another room to my house right here. Okay, I got a little detour. Follow me. I can't lie. I've been to Disney so much. This feels like I'm in some Disney ride, like waiting to get on a Disney ride, in line for a ride. Just, this would be so cool if it was filled with water. I just love, I'm at maybe a part two, you know, maybe a part two, honestly come back here in a tight tide. Let's keep going though. Um, excuse me. Do people know that you're not supposed to litter? Especially here? Nah, I'm just playing. This, is, this looks like something like, bro, 
I don't think there's a whole boat under here. There's no way, but like, what is this thing? How like hard is it in here? Yeah, that's stuck in there. Bro, there's a whole anchor. There's no way there's a boat. But, 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 it is time to show you guys the best view of them all, the view from on top of the rocks. Check this out. Dude, this day has to be over now. Why? At least we got the sunset. Like, check this out. Wish we're not leaving now, but we got no choice to. We just gotta take this in for real, guys. I feel like I gotta be thankful that I even have this view here. I know not, like, this place is just insane. But. That said, guys, I know I have really not uploaded in a while, and I'm really sorry about that. I've hated not being behind the camera like this. This, just being behind the camera today and showing you guys a really cool place, I enjoyed so much, and I really do hope you guys enjoyed it too, seeing these cool videos. Like this place, I just love it, and I'm happy I got back behind the camera. But with that said, I think it is time to close out today's video, even though I don't want to, man. Just come on. If this video could last forever, that'd be so cool. But... Peace!